Elizabeth, I made it. Ermana, sorry I'm late. Class ran over. I've never been to this part of town before. I've been fucking walking around forever. Don't worry about it, Glinda. We haven't lost any time. Everything is on schedule. I got you a chai. It's fucking great. Did you guys talk about Hitchcock tonight? That's how he did it. He was more concerned about creating suspense and tension than just creating horror and mayhem. I see. He thought that the tension was more important than the blood and guts. Exactly. He thought that horror was a cheat, an easy way of getting the audience to react. But instead, he wanted the audience to experience the horror in their mind. Like in Psycho? Except for that first scene where she died in the shower, you never saw any blood in the rest of the movie. The horror was confined to the audience's mind. Those are the kinds of movie I, movies I like. Movies that scare you because of the things you don't see but are about to happen. And especially not those stupid rom-coms where the guy always gets the girl in the end even though he's in total pendejo. Couldn't get a girl in a thousand years. You're fucking right. Couldn't get it up even if you wanted to. I really hate those movies. Nothing to do with real life. That's why we get along so well, Elizabeth. We think exactly the same way. Ever since I came over during freshman year, you've been there for me. Right back at you. La waitress viene esconde tu cara. May I get you two anything else? This is a nice place. I really love the paintings. I've never really been to this part of town before. This is my first time too. This place is great. You can study here, eat or just hang out. Anyway, for the real reason why you dragged me all the way across town? I take it all this Hitchcock talk is why you haven't just killed them outright, like the others? so easy to just kid them for what they've done. But for me, it would be a lot more satisfying seeing them at the brink of death. It's a thrill of the suspense, even if the victims don't know it themselves. You know what I mean? But wouldn't it be more exciting if they realized they were going to die? Not exactly Hitchcock, You but... miss Hitchcock's point. Really? He said it doesn't really matter if the targets know they are the targets or, for that matter, if they are about to die. It's more important that the audience knows that the heroes are in danger or at risk. That's why Hitch calls suspense. And that the victims would find a way out of it. But in this case, I'm going to use another example he used before. You really do have the worst taste in guys. If you would have introduced me to this one, I could have told you he was a loser. It's so obvious. <sighs> Too many pretty boys with wandering dicks. Sorry. Anyway, I guess I'm the audience in this little production of yours. In a way. So, how are you going to do it? I'm assuming it won't be the gun route like before. Besides, we already did that way the last couple of times. It's getting fucking old. <laughs> I'm 
way more imaginative than that. I'm going to use a bomb, like in Sabotage. In this one, he broke his own rule of allowing the victims to escape. But I like how he did it. I really like that movie too. I saw it in class a few weeks ago and... Are you out of your mind? There are too many people here. You cannot use a bomb. Relax. I wouldn't kill a, a massive amount of people just because he's fucking around on me with that bitch. Then? I built a small personal bomb. You know the one that explodes and just take out a small radius? Shit, Chica. That's about five people. You can't be fucking serious. I think he would just take out a small radius. You'd never really know with those things. It's not an exact science building one of those things. It should be enough to take out those two and, unfortunately, anyone who is close to them. I think. This, this isn't happening. You can't. I need satisfaction. I don't see where your problem is. You didn't have any problem with me killing all of the others? Some or even yours? That was different. Why? Why is it different? We just killed them and those sluts, not innocent people. This is just wrong. We don't do this type of thing. We're not murderers. Besides, don't you already have a new boyfriend? Just let it go. Was it wrong for him to screw around on me? Was it wrong for him? to lie and disrespect me the way he did and with that bitch? No, I'm owed it. You have to be reasonable about this. Just let it go. It's not that important. You're not fucking listening to me. I understand that you want satisfaction, but this is not the way to do it. Let's just do him and that bitch like the others and call it a day. It may not totally satisfy Hitchcock, but it would be the right thing to do. Let's just use knives like before. Fuck the knife root. It's so yesterday. True. It was fun looking at the results. about doing the right thing. I'm going to do it my way. Wait, wait. What? You know I've been studying Hitch now in class. I think you forgot something else that Hitchcock said. No, I didn't. I took the same class last year. I know, but you forgot that Hitchcock had always regretted setting off that bomb on that bus. It may have served the story, but he was always sorry that he had done it. He thought that it was a big mistake. He broke his own rule of suspense and not allowed the boy to escape. True, he did regret it. But this is real life, Hermana, not the damn movie. Shit, Hermana. How could you? We're the same. Not exactly. You also forgot that Hitchcock did not necessarily like reality. He wanted the audience to face death, but not actually realize it. That was just his way. And since I'm the audience, I'll side with the master. You bitch. Excuse me, is your friend... Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, somebody call! 